cello cases. You need to get one and sometimes you think, where do you start? I have today three very popular brands of cello cases that you will find everywhere in the world, available online, linked in the description below. I'm going to go through very three very common ones. A good generic carbon fiber version from China, the Eastman cello case, very popular here in the United States, and my, what I consider to be the best hard case, the Van cello case. So without further ado, let's get right into this gear review of cello hard cases. So on this Chinese case, the latches require a two finger usage. See me using my index and middle finger, so it's not as easy as the others. And as you see, there's the locks on them as well. Here we have the nice leather strap, padded to good build quality. On the other side of the cello case, more latches, no locks, another nice leather strap, very nice, knobbies and good construction of the latches as well that hold it together. On the rear, you have hooks for the back backpack straps there on the bottom as well and wheels to help you out. So here we have the inside of the carbon fiber case from China. You get some back straps, nice and thick. Very good, almost like band straps. That's good. Place to secure your bow. I mean, secure your scroll. Velcro as expected. And what's important on these is how it will protect your bow. And I really like how I did this neoprene right here. It's very nice, it's very thick, and it zips up. That can be a problem in the future with collecting of dust and grime, but I really like that. It seems that it's glued in there, it's nice and sturdy. So I like that a lot. Another thing about this is I really appreciate is the padding is nice and firm, but it's thin. It's not too thick. This is actually a nice and thin padding, so I really like that. They have all the necessary things. Your little pocket up here to put rosin. Down here, you have protection for your tailpiece. And down here, even some more special things. It looks like another carrying strap and for the bottom of your cello. Let's see how a cello fits into this. I'm gonna grab a cello. Let's grab a cello here. And how easy is it to fit in here? It's important to be able to fit them in nice and quick. Close them up. And do this. See how quickly you put away straps. Not bad. Not bad. Now we're going to move on to the, the Eastman case. This is an Eastman, and as you can see, this lock is much different. It's much more sturdy, easy to handle. And I'm going to do a comparison. Here's a, the clamp right here, like this. And then here's a clamp here. You see this? It's easy to work with your hand, one hand, because sometimes sometimes you're going to need to only work it with one hand. That's the problem with these. Even though they're really light, they're difficult to work with one hand. So possible. This is an Eastman, very popular, and it has actually a lock for one of them. And if not, not correct, some of them have always locked. So it's a, you can have multiple places where you can lock it. More sturdy, it's thicker, it's heavier. They come in all sorts of colors. You see it has that shape so it can give it more flatness. Sometimes that really matters. Of course you got locks there. No, you see no strap on this side. The more handles you get, sometimes the better. Let's look here, it's important. The quality looks good, the same nubs. Now on the back. Eastman gives you one clamp here. Just one, not two. Two down there, 
and then wheels. And that's made of leather. It's okay. So Eastman has another, a pouch as well, but it's removable. It's very nice. It can be easily lost. It's made of a nice felt. The whole interior is felt, which is an upgrade from the Chinese generic one. We have padding for your neck here. The whole interior does feel nice. Again, a nice covering of felt makes it feel very nice. What is not so nice on the East is you have these very cheap sort of Velcro things to keep in your nice bows. So I never liked this about the Eastman, and these actually come a little weird over time, so it's never something, it's not a big deal, but it's never something I've liked. Another thing about Eastman is this right here will wear out over time, just warn you about that. The straps, well, just like band straps, nice and padded, so no complaints there. Down here, we have the same protection for your tailpiece. Really simple down here. Nothing securing your end pin in, which I'd never have liked about these generic Eastman ones. Otherwise, okay. But one thing Eastman does that no other, that no other company does is they put a hydrometer. This is the only company that does this. They put a hydrometer in the cases to monitor the humidity within your case. It is pretty cool. Now let's put a cello in it. <laughs> Here we go. How easy that's fit. Not as easy as, as before. Right here. Nothing secure in the end pin there. Close it nicely. Four, five. That's the thing that sometimes they don't align nicely on these pins. Six, seven. Eight, sometimes a knife on that side on these things. There you have it. This is, this is okay again, it's too thin, but hey, you can wheel it around. And the weight isn't that bad. Good for its price, very good for its price. Now we're gonna look at the BAM case. <laughs> and now we get to what I consider to be the best mark for cello cases. This is the mark called BAM. And you will never regret spending the amount of money you do on these. First, let's look at these clips. The clip, easy, proprietary, super easy to put in. See how they suspend themselves. Look over here at the Eastman. You then have to lift it. But BAM knows you need to operate it with one hand, sometimes even one finger. And as you see, you can lock them. Here are the locks, and you can lock every single one of them. The straps are not a wrapped leather, as you see right here. The leather is wrapped and open and cheap. Here, the leather is wrapped solid. It's sealed with wax. Very nice, solid quality. There's the. And what's great about the BAM cases, they have been doing this forever. It's here in the back. First off, you have a handle here where you can roll it. And those wheels that you saw on the back of these two here, those wheels can only be maintained. You can do with that, but you can't roll it. This one, you can roll. And that is important, because at times you will need to roll your cello. Also nice to have is this one, this strap right here. Very important. Eastman doesn't have it. This carbon fiber from China does have it. On the back here, as you see, this is the only one with that recessed, recessed. See this right here? There's different types. This model is the one to get if you want the one that disappears into the back. It's called the BAM New Tech. Another interesting thing about these is this right here. Which I've never known what it does. If someone could tell me, <laughs> I would like to know. One, it, it doesn't matter, it's nice and sturdy. Two on the bottom for your, actually on the side. One here, and one here for the straps. And I really like the fact they put the strap not here, of course. They have here, here on the side, 
and here. The new tech. One, two. You can do it with your hand. One, two, three, four, five. There's nothing on that side. And it opens. It's all you can do by one hand. Love the new tech. Unlike the Eastman, the new tech has very nice and recessed right here. Deep for the for the um the neck. The Eastman poked up real high. I didn't like that. So that's very important. We also have this clip that goes on right there. Not Velcro. It's adjustable because different cellos have different neck sizes. Same thing here. We have a strap, and unlike the other two, this one also is adjustable on the BAM. Coming over here, down on the interior, we see nice felt. It's actually a much higher quality felt. It smells wonderful. Coming a little further down, we see padding done, but also at the same time, some air pockets as well, some reinforcement of the composite. Another removable package, which is nice. Down here at the very bottom, which is one thing I love about the bands, they have a piece that not only does this secure, but it secures the end pin as well. So you scoop that onto your end pin, it really keeps it in lock. And look how much padding you have here, nice and plush. It's not this gel padding, it's a cushion, but it's very, very nice. Same nice cushioning here. And then we have, what BAM has just basically done is really simple, a pocket and a pocket. Here, two pockets for your bows. Pocket, 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 pocket. And the Velcro folds over like a triangle thing. And it's, I actually really like this thing. I'll just show you this one here. I really like that about BAM. It covers the frog, it protects here it protects the end of your frog from if it were to sort of get loose and hit your cello. This is absolutely wonderful. Only BAM makes that cover for the end of your frog. So again, if your frog comes out, it won't hurt. Very, very clever. You have padding, thick padding covering here the, the, um, the, the joint. You have thick padding here covering the joints, not just covered with small velvet, but actual thick padding. I really like that. Yes, the BAM case is one of the best you can buy. And they all have copied these fantastic straps. You get two of them and they're nice and they're nice and padded. And unlike the other two, you have these right here. You have this sort of mountain climber secure lock. So again, None of them do what BAM does. Now, I'm going to put a cello in it. Here's our cello. And how easy does it go? Drops in. Not only drops in nice and snug, and as you see, we have the strap. We're going to make our adjustment per our cello, because all cellos are different. So we have a cello here with a thicker neck. Put that here. Adjust that in. You can make your scoop there. I can adjust it there, close it in, and one of the things about BAM, they just, there's no aligning of them. They close directly on themselves. Four, five, and it comes up. And I usually, you can grab here, you can grab here, or just simply roll it up this direction, and then you're rolling it. They come in all sorts of colors. I have a terracotta colored one, similar to that one. If it isn't BAM, well, for me, this would be the most recommended one for all of you guys out there. I really like them. Not because they're French, because they're simply very, very well made. Very well made. You will never regret spending the money you do on a BAM. But if it can't be in a BAM, and if you want to get an Eastman, that's okay too. These are great middle of the road cases. And if you want to go super light, like this one right here is just incredibly light. It's incredibly light. I can't describe to you how light these carbon fiber ones, but you sacrifice security. Eastman, you get it cheaper, but it's a little more, a little more heavy, but you sacrifice, I guess, quality. Bam, you get the best of both worlds. Security, with the locks, and quality craftsmanship as well. They're all very well made. Some, this one here is selling in San Jose for $520. This Eastman here is selling for, these are all brand new, of course, for $785. And this BAM, New Tech with wheels, selling for $1310. And so it's important. 
The BAM, by the way, the BAM is a 1002 NW. Very important, the NW, because that increases the price two to three hundred dollars just for these wheels. And one day you will love those wheels and this wonderful recessed handle. It's fantastic. You can get a classic band with basically the same thing. It won't have this recessed in here. I'll put a picture right here, but that won't have that won't be there. You will only have the wheels and sort of a handle stuck on the back. But it still does the job. If you're going to get a band, get a new tech. If you don't can't get a band, then my next suggestion, of course, would be getting an Eastman. They're wonderful. And if you cannot afford that, and you just want to keep it light and simple, one of these wonderful generic carbon fiber cases from China. I absolutely love them. They're available everywhere and they're good quality. This as well can take you there. So, so what do I recommend for you? If you're looking to save money, but yet you do want a case that will last you a long time, I would suggest that you go with Eastman. If you were looking to save money most of the time and you're worried about the weight, I suggest going to one of these carbon fiber ones. Yet, if you have a little bit of money to spend, north of about $1,000, then you can get one of these new techs with or without wheels. This will be, most likely, the first and last hard cello case you will ever purchase in your life. And the reason why I highly recommend this cello case, the same cello case that protected my beautiful Italian cello when I moved from America to France. This cello case here also comes with a flight case that goes around it, and you can safely put your beautiful cello into the hole because you have literally a good eight centimeters around of additional padding and it's just fantastic. So in addition to this, you put the cello in the case and then you put this huge foam thing around it and it worked beautifully for my instrument. No guarantee that the airline won't throw around your instrument, but it's pretty safe in that large case. So all in total, the lightest here, the middle of the road here, which is going to be just an all-around good case, and the best yet most expensive and the most versatile being the band. So thank you for watching my video today about cello cases. I hope you learned something. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing, and also if you're in the market for one of these cases, check out the links in the description below. I did the research and I found these cases on Amazon for the cheapest price possible. They're nice. I could look at them all day. I'm sorry. Um, so that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching and stick around. I think we're all going to learn. And stick around. I think we're all going to learn a lot.